tried not to do the big head scratch. Archie tells me that almost every one of these, before I get ready to actually say anything, she knows I'm actually recording when I... And now, of course, I just did it in illustration. Oh! Foiled again. Curses. Um, oh, wait, I probably shouldn't curse on here. <laughs> uh, okay, so this morning was about prayer, so that's great. Um, and they were uh, in the devotion, they're kind of talking about praying in, uh, in secret and because uh, uh, Jesus specifically cautioned against people who like go out in the street corner and pray loudly and bravely and oh I just happened to be on the street corner when the call to prayer came down ha <laughs> ha let me pray loudly so that you can find out how pious I am um, in general he was very cautious about about getting any reward from here from people of this earth for things that are of eternal value that it can really muddy the, your ability to get eternal value out of them because then you become obsessed either you become attached either to that response or uh, or just that is <laughs> I don't even know if you can hear it on here it's just hilarious because it's been going on for like a minute and a half um, it was kind of like in the movie theaters where the person is just trying to be real slow so they're quiet and instead it's just taking forever and so they're just one real loud thing. Rip, rip, rip. Um, so yeah, they said when he said when you pray you should not be like the hypocrites, blah, 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 blah. But this morning just said, uh, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet and pray to thy father which is in secret. Oh, the one thing I really liked about it the, in, the, in the main discourse of the thing we talked about uh, kind of what I've been doing and just loving and finding super fruitful. And I don't think I'd normally say, hey, you guys should do this on these things, but man, if you have, actually, no, if, make time in the beginning, in the beginning of your day, like wake up, don't eat breakfast yet, don't do nothing, make time in the beginning of your day to just, whoosh, whoosh, just wipe it. Just wipe it and get down to the heart of the matter and uh, and pray. Clear your mind. Meditate. Just get 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 your framework. Get your framework steady. Whatever that whatever which is most important to you, the, the, the eternal self, hopefully. Just get down in it. Get down in it and make it give it your time, give it your focus. <laughs> And it'll just, it'll rock your whole day out. I know a lot of folks uh, who meditate first thing in the morning, ever since they started doing it, it's been rocking their face off, and it's awesome. It's just, it's, I, I've been finding this such a, a reward in and of itself, as well as just fueling me throughout the rest of my day and just everything else. And so, man, if you can, actually, even if you can't, because you can, just wake up an extra three minutes early and just, bam, just get in it and try to, and your, your mind, you, you know, uh, anybody, was, I, I'm not a, a, a meditator, a regular meditator or anything, but people who know, I know y'all know, like just how your mind will try to just stop you from getting clear. It'll just like creep in and you'll creep in here and you'll get distracted by this and you'll start thinking about this and this and this and this. And uh, it's amazing how, how we, our natural selves, are so opposed to uh, to clarity and to focus on that which is most important. So, try it. Try it, uh, well, I guess you can't try it today because you're already watching this, but tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, get on up and then just get focused. It is, uh, it's, it's better than coffee, I'm telling you. It's the best. And then, how did they say it? They said it in a really nice way in this thing. They were like, uh, Get into the habit of dealing with God about everything. Because I've been working on that one. Uh, unless in the first waking moment of the day you learn to fling the door wide back and let God in, you will work on a wrong level all day. And I know you've had those days. I've had plenty of those days where just like everything is out of sync. You're like, what the heck? You just want to go back to bed. You want to start over. That might be a good instinct. Go ahead and take yourself a little nappy poo. Wake up. Just go ahead, start the day over. Just lock into that which is most important. Give 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 that the time. Even if you're gonna be late for something, even if you won't get deep breakfast, doesn't matter. 
There'll always be meals later. There'll be a meal tomorrow. Go get you some of the bread that nourishes your soul. I think I might talk about more about prayer tomorrow. I don't know. I don't like to plan these things, but I'm thinking I might, because this one, let's just end this one. It's time. It's already been six minutes. Cheesy crazy.